For me, it's good morning. And today in FM Second, we are going to take a look at character select and main and menu select. So main menu is fairly simple. Uh, FM Second is a very simple engine in terms of this. All it is is a background and your uh, select uh, your select icons. So my mouse wheel apparently doesn't work on this anymore. So in your game system, basic script, you will find uh, mine's translation different differently, but position cursor it does and position cursor it doesn't. So all this stuff is for Oh, no, I'm sorry. It's this one. Position for story mode and position for versus mode. This is what's going to appear in your main menu. So all you have to simply do is just move this X, which you can click and drag and drop. That, and it always starts at the top left corner. That is going to be your position for story mode and versus mode. Like so. Now, in order for this to work properly, it needs to have a representation an arrow of some sort. So if we open up my main game because I completely forgot what I used. So we're going to go into USB. Main game, main game. Okay. What did I use? Oh, I used a stock cursor. Okay. Sure. So let's go back. Stop. Okay, so apparently for my main game, I used a stock resource cursor. So we will go into here and DMP, go to open. Nope, nope, nope. Nope. Okay. Let's go to here, go to graphics, let's go to mm. demo, nope, also I don't like these icons, large icons, there we go, ooh those are interesting, back, large icons. One of these has to have some kind of arrow in it. Objects. Nope. Hmm. Nope. Frame? Why would it be under frame though? It is under frame. All right, All right so <clears throat> for our title cursor, we will just keep it simple and we will use a yellow arrow with a black outline. So let's copy that in. Nope, stupid right click. And then we will loop it so that way it stays there. Loop the image. All right, save, save often, that way you don't regret it. So now this arrow will appear on these guys' coordinates, wherever we may set them. So I will set that there, and I will set this one here. Oops, uh, let's make them equivalent, 170. 170. So now we got position for story mode and position for versus mode. Now, right now that probably doesn't make any sense because it's just the position of the arrow. This is why I said that you can actually make a main menu without making a main menu, but we're not here to do that. So we have this part set up. Let's actually get the background because if we go into animation, we don't get anything because that's not the main menu. So now we're going to go into demos and 
we're going to use our notorious demo one rename and we're going to call it main menu M many menu all right so this is fairly simple you just need to find an image that not that you need to have an image that says main menu in versus mode um for the sake of time and I'm not going to show people how to create this because that's going to take a long, well, it wouldn't take me a long time to do, but I'm, I'm not the most artistic person in the world. So I'm just going to use what I have, which I need to remember where I put it. Or maybe it might be, fa maybe it might be faster if I make one unsure now. Oh, nope, here it is. Got it. Okay, there's my main menu for my game. Fairly simple. So, we are going to take this whole thing and copy it in. So, oh, almost forgot. Always loop your images. So go to scale, loop image. And that is main menu done. Actually, I should really put that under system BG or on system over system BG's uh, images, but you know what? It's fine. It still works the same. So we'll go to game system, basic. Oh, no. Not that. There we go. So these are going to be your character select demos. This one's obviously your game over demo. You're opening in your title demo. I believe it's title demo that's supposed to be your main menu. I'm, I don't remember. Back to my main game for reference, just to, uh, so I don't give any false information. Game, main. Okay, yeah, it is DFO, uh, or I'm sorry, it is title for your uh, main menu. Yep. Oh, uh, uh, I wasn't expecting a comment. Uh, I am covering main menus, how to make a main menu, and stage select, or character select today. Stage select, I was going to do, but that was a little bit complicated for, I feel, for everybody. So, this was something I skipped and I never went back, so. That is what I'm covering today. And, uh, you came in a good point. I just started uh, menu creation. All right, so we're going, actually, I'm sort of at the tail end of menu creation because it's a fairly quick process. But again, I upload these to my YouTube channel. And if you're a part of our Discord, you can, you have easy access to my YouTube channel. You can easily find it because I'm fairly new to uh, the YouTube channel. Or my YouTube channel is fairly new, so there's not a lot of su subscribers. All right, so we will go to from title. And there is our... Main menu with no arrows for some reason. Did it not save? No, it definitely has an arrow. Hmm. Very interesting. Versus, versus, position count. Oh, wait a minute. That's why there's no. Activate use versus mode and use story mode if you're going to uh, make a main menu. There we go. Now we got the arrow and there's our main menu. Obviously, it's not lined up. So. Ooh, that ain't good. So demos. Okay, this is where putting this image in the wrong place bites me in the butt. So, actually, let's demonstrate that. So, in my test play, yes, I have, I have a main menu, and the arrows are not lined up. Oh, that's no problem. I, I appreciate I love doing these kind of things. I have a good time. It's just, uh, I, uh, in real life, stuff is happening next week for me, so... I want to make sure that I got, you know, people with the basics they needed to uh, 
get going. And obviously after I'm done with this stream, I'm going to cut it up and make this section main menu, the next part stage select. Uh, I already covered variables, uh, character selection, how to make a super. I just got to cut up all the YouTube videos. So at some point I'll do that. But anyway, so as you can see, I got my main menu going, but the arrows are not lined up. That's simply by going back into game system, basic script and moving those icons. So that shouldn't be too hard. But if you notice, when I actually do move the arrow, now I have two arrows. I am moving the arrow up and down. This is because I have a pure black background in the back, or not a pure black background, but just no background. So, if I move offset my icons, there you go. It's just words. So in order to fix this, we need to add an actual background. Now, I already said that it doesn't matter that it's under basic BG, but let's uh, not make it basic BG just for consistency's sake. Okay, we'll delete that out. Oh, no, stop. Moving too fast for my brain. All right, and we're gonna add an actual background, which we will, uh, I don't wanna keep using my sources. So let's go out of my USB drive, or I'm sorry, not out of the, my, out of my folder. Go to reference, original RTP, graphics, frame. Nope, don't like any of those. How about, This will work. So let's pick something that clashes. Pick that. I like that. Oh, it's having transparency issues. Of course it is. Okay, let's pick something. Oh, because I didn't pick a private palette. All right. I mean, there's no frame. I picked the right one. Oh, I didn't pick the right one again. Huh, that usually works. Okay, fine, we'll pick something else. Nope, that's going to have a background issue. That looks neat, let's pick that. <sighs> you know what, good enough, even though there's a little bit of a transparency issue. Loop your image, save, there we go. And now you can kind of see that the yellow is still happening in the background, but now we just have a consistent menu. Now, the next thing we want to do, obviously that's not correct. So we're going to go to game system, basic script, and we're going to go back to our continue, or I'm sorry, position the story mode cursor and position the versus mode cursor. And we're gonna have it line up with this. So, easiest way I've found this is it's not easy, but just kind of like eyeball it and eventually you'll get there, I guess. Yeah, that looks good. Because there's since these are separate, there's no real way to actually line it up without going in and out of demo, uh, test play. I didn't save. Okay, we're getting there. Save. Remember guys, save often, otherwise you're gonna regret it. All right, that one's lined up. I sh I'm stupid, I didn't check the other one. Eh, that one isn't too bad. So we'll move that there. We'll back off the x-axis by 30. That's a little high. That should do it. Let's play. Boom. Main menu. Done. 